Wade Wilson over there. Hey, what's up you guys? Shorty Miss Prime here doing another Diamond Select figure review on the Diamond Select Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back movie. Jay and Silent Bob action figures. Got to give a big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible. Check out the latest from DST by checking out their YouTube channel. These guys arrive in similar packages. Uh, of course, this one says Jay and this one says Silent Bob. And then on the side over here, they both have the same image from the cover of the movie and everything. So that's looking pretty cool. Then on the back, they have the same exact read up. If you want to go ahead and read that, pause it now. All right, let's get to it and crack these things open. <laughs> Here's the figures out of the packaging. These things are awesome. I am so stoked to have a Jay and Bob action figures over here. Huge Kevin Smith fan. I absolutely love this movie. Anyway, these guys do come with a bunch of accessories. As you can see, we have this backdrop over here. These pieces are made out of cardboard. Jay comes with the left side over here, and then Bob comes with the right over here. As you can see in this picture, they both come with the RST video stickers, and I think they connect pretty nicely. The stickers actually hold things together. I do have a little bit of a gap right there, but not a big deal. Get a better look at the base over here, which I think is looking really nice. I think this is great. You can spin it all the way around right here. You can see the inside of the video store and I can remove this cardboard and you can look at the tile on the inside of the store and how the sidewalk looks. Nice paint detail with some color variations. I think this looks pretty dope. Now each of the figures come with an interchangeable left hand for holding the cigarette. We get a lot of paint on there. It's a little too pink right there in some of those creases. I do like how this effect looks though with the lit end of the cigarette. That looks very realistic. Same thing with Jay's hand right over here. Then they both have their drug dealing union cards. Local 404 over here which I thought was a great scene with Tracy Morgan that was hilarious. Just the concept of drug dealers having unions. And then Jay comes with his nails, cigarettes over here, and then you can kind of squeeze that open. It's made with a pliable material. It's a little tricky emptying this out, but there we go, snoogie boogies. Now each of these figures come with two heads, so you get an interchangeable head for Jay and Bob, and this is the one that comes in packaging with Jay over here. And I think it more or less has the likeness of Jason Mewes. I just think it's just a little off, and the paint can be a little splotchy. It has some weird marks around here and everything. When I see it, I do think of Jay from Jay and Silent Bob, so it's not like it's completely off. I just can't say that it's dead on, you know what I mean? But I do like the color variation in his hair a lot. You get like a darker yellow right there for the creases in the hair, and I think it's actually sculpted very nicely, and the beanie looks pretty good too. And removing the heads on these aren't too difficult, even though I do recommend using a hair dryer on both of these figures before you start posing it around and everything. And then here's the second head. That looking alright. I actually think I like the other one. This one is making that pucker face with the lips and everything, and I think the eyebrows are kind of a little off, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's not terrible, but I do prefer the other head sculpt even though that one has more paint splotching. Now looking at the rest of the figure, I think it came out pretty solid. I like the yellow paint on it. it came out very clean. Then looking at the pants right over here for his track pants, uh, you can see that you know the white and red doesn't bleed into each other or anything. Same thing with this side. You get some nice wrinkles over here too, and then the shoes look pretty nice as well. You got the laces sculpted in there very nicely. You get some treads at the bottom of his feet. He does have peg holes. Looking at the back of the figure, it would have been nice if they had smoothed out those joints, but I think those are necessary for the joints to stay in place when you move them. Now here's a look at Silent Bob, which which actually really does look like Kevin Smith to me. I think they did a good job with this one. Uh, the eyes are very peeled though. I wish one of the head sculpts didn't have such peeled eyes. I wish he had more of a calmer, relaxed look in his eyes. The beard came out looking very nice. I think that looks pretty clean. And then looking up here, you can see the movie's baseball cap. Looks great. Looking on the back of it, the deco came out very clean. I like the hair sculpt on here too. Then here's the alternate head sculpt where he looks totally hammered, man. Look at his eyes. And it looks like the brown paint got a little splotchy over here, missing the mustache a little bit and getting over that flesh tone. I think this is a pretty funny looking head sculpt. Uh, not my favorite out of the two of them. Can't remember what scene he made this face, but I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> And looking at the rest of the figure, I think the trench coat is sculpted really well. I like that it's made out of this soft, pliable material. I think that's cool. And just a little fun fact, uh, the character Silent Bob is based off of Sam Kinison and Bob the Goon from the 89 Batman movie, which I always thought was kind of neat. I think I heard that in a podcast once. The shirt's just a flat gray color, and the shirt itself isn't as pliable as the coat. And the pants over here look pretty good, too. Get some seams and stitching right over there on the side. And his sneakers look pretty nice as well. I sculpted lines around over here. Same thing with the shoelaces. Bottom of the feet have treads and peg holes underneath. Not much else to see on the back of this guy except a big old trench coat. Now the articulation on these guys are pretty similar. Uh, Jay's head cannot look up uh, because of the hair over here. You can rotate his head side to side. He can look down a little bit and he does have some neck pivot. Shoulders move outward. They move forward. He bends at the elbow. No elbow swivel, which we desperately need on this figure because now they can't smoke their cigarettes. Now, you do get wrist rotation. There is a waist swivel that moves side to side. He does have have the DCUC gaping crotch pits right there. Uh, you can move the legs forward a little bit on him. They do move back some. He does have double jointed knees, which is pretty cool. I like the double jointed knees. And then the ankles move down, up a little bit, side to side movement, and ankle 
Bivet. Silent Bob can move his head up a little bit more than Jay's. His head moves down just the same, rotate side to side. Same neck pivot, shoulders move outward, forward, single bend at the elbow, but not as much as Jay's. He does have rotation right here. He does have waist rotation, and the legs can move outward that much. They cannot kick as forward and back as much as Jay's. He does have the double jointed knee over here, and then the ankle movement is pretty much the same where it moves down, up, side to side, and ankle pivot. I really like the height differences between these figures. Jay stands over seven inches tall, and it looks like Kevin Smith's at about six and a half. Here are the select figures next to their mini mate counterparts, and here they are next to Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So I do have my little gripes about the figures here and there, but for the for the most part, I'm very excited to have 7 inch scale figures from Jay and Silent Bob. This is just so cool. I'm so happy to have this display in my collection. If you're a big Kevin Smith fan and you like all those VSQ movies, check these out, man. Pick them up. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, hit the subscribe button right over there. Check out my last two videos on the side right over there. And check out a photo gallery of images at toynewseye.com. I'll catch you guys later. Snoogans.